Right, uh, welcome to part two. I thought I'd have a look and see what the reed bed's doing. It's sort of growing in on me, but it still looks like shit. I think it'll be a few years before it looks decent. Um, I've had some very serious work offers come in as well. Um, one, oh, like I say, normally, I've been single, or, you know, kids have been a bit older, I would have bit the hand off, because it's one of those once in a lifetime offers. Um, but, Sometimes you've got to put your family first, right? Um, simple as that. And the idea of traipsing, you know, a brand new baby on a 21 hour flight is not my idea of fun, right? Um, you imagine that 21 hours of screaming. People are going to kill you by the end of it, one. So, no. Um, we'll see about that. Some other things on the horizon. Uh, the book's going to be taking up a lot of my time between now and probably about March. Maybe if it overruns, it might go over about April or something. Or something. Um, once we've got that done, uh, what I'll be doing then is I've got some other stuff I want to start thinking about at the same time. Now, I've got to make sure I don't overload what I'm doing at the moment. Uh, I've said that for a while because I'm trying to plan everything out and organise um, my pipeline better. Get rid of any bits that I think could be optimised. I'm going to sort runs like clockwork and I'll need a redundant second system of a second pipeline uh, for times when the first one, you know, is out of action. So, Christmas is coming on in what? Was it the 11th? So what's that, 13, 14 days? A couple of weeks? Holy shit! Not even half we don't have stuff there for, for cane, you know. Um, we haven't got any of the Christmas food in yet. The house is decorated, we do have the tree up. Uh, I've got this, you know, all the stuff in there, you know, everything looking nice and stuff like that. One of the biggest things for me is last week, was it Friday, Friday morning, I finally managed to get, you know, the fibres I showed you ages back that basically there'd been a big hole in it and that I replaced it, we had to leave it for months, right? I was going to have it for three months, three months staring at plaster, which drives me insane. But it was finally dry enough to put some wallpaper on. <coughs> so me and my dad did it in about 35 minutes. We threw some wallpaper on it, it looks quite nice. There's blue wallpaper, um, and the house looks tidy again. It takes a bit of stress off, you know what I mean? It's a bloody big patch of ice here. I don't see that. I'm not walking over that bugger. I look it would be quite funny seeing me going on my arse. Um, I'm probably going on YouTube history, you know what I mean? It's uh, not what I want to be known for. Um, so there you go. Now, there's not a whole lot else happening at the moment. Um, there's a few people know that I'll be at Siggraf next year. There's a few different people who said, well, you know, find some meeting up for a drink or something. I'll do what I can, but obviously I'm going to be working, right? <coughs> but I'm going to try. There's a few people I do want to have a bit of a word with. Uh, anyway, I'm also going to try while I'm there, see if I can get any overflow work, if you know what I mean. Because if I'm in, if I'm at Siggraf, right, and I'm only doing maybe two or three sessions a day, all the rest of those days are going free. I reckon that cup of cigarette from probably a day, right? All those other days, I've got come free. So I might as well be earning some totem coin, that's the way I'll say it, right? I'm not an idiot. So, um, I'll probably start putting that in place probably when February next year. I'll have a, a couple of preliminary words with some people and see what they reckon. But I'm quite confident somebody will want something. But, um, because I'm quite a marketable, marketable commodity at the moment, apparently. So we'll see. It's weird being called a marketable commodity. It makes you feel like, like, a, like a number, not a person. You keep trying to tell them, look, I'm, you know, I'm a person, right? Put my pants on one leg at a time. But they don't seem to, you know, see it as that. Even the guys do. They see you as a person, but once you start talking about suits, they see you as a number, right? Little zeros. Now, I'm going to be careful at this bank. Yeah. It's not very big. But with cold weather, asthma, and a cigarette, that doesn't mix. So... <coughs> As you can tell. Now, this next sort of week, it's going to be hectic for everybody, isn't it? Hope we've all got your Christmas shopping done. And then Woolworths, it looks like the Woolworths chain is going to be closing down. That's a sad day. I remember going to Woolworths when I was a kid, you know, when you were a teenager. You can guarantee that if you want a special edition, like a gear full sleeve or coloured vinyl, they'd always have a one that no other shop would have. You know, I've got happy memories. I remember like the shock at seeing Talitha's one 
And seeing that you had to run it for one all single, right? At 33 and a third instead of 45. That was a bit of a culture shot, that was. Because the song was so bloody long. But, uh, so I'd rather that it didn't close. What the fucking hell is that? Let's just put this there. I can't see there's after it's a plane, but it's at a really stupid angle. I'm gonna try and zoom in for you. I can't see whether it's whether it's visible or not. But it was a, it looked like a bloody it looked like a UFO. It's not, it's a plane. I was gonna try and zoom this back out again. Otherwise you're gonna get an extreme close on my nostril. Right. It was weird because the angle it was at. It looked like a really, you know, classic UFO. It was a plane. This weird angle of refraction. It changes it. Right. So my son wanted me to uh, wanted to take him out to, on this walk today. He's been a bit clingy, right, Kim, after the ejection yesterday. He's been fine, but just a bit clingy. But uh, the idea of Kim doing a six-mile walk. See, so, yeah, I don't. That's not going to happen, is it? He's not old enough. I was like, yeah, you have a damn good go and all that, but uh, I don't think he'd manage it. Simple as that. But yeah, so at the moment I'm very edgy because I've only got the laptop and if that goes down I'm fucked, right? Because me and Kat once did try sharing a PC when she first moved up. There was World War Three by the end of the day, right? We went a month like that. Um, so now I make sure there's always at least one PC each. But uh, the worst case scenario at the moment is if these go down, I'm screwed. All right. Um, so I'm being very careful. No files are getting transferred across from one PC to the other. I'm not downloading anything from anybody uh, for whatever the reason. I don't care. If it's instructions how to print your own money. All right. I'm not downloading anything from anybody. Emails, I'm going through on my wife's machine. Yeah, no, she's gonna kill me if that one goes out. But anyway, what am I gonna do, you know? <laughs> Mine comes first. Mine's the one to make the money, you know what I mean? It also looks like they're um, in the new year, we will be starting a mud box forum up. Now, Tony D Monk, you'll have seen him all over the place, he's be a modern tweak. He's a great to do, uh, some modern. I am after some new mods. Um, I need experienced mods, but I also need at least three good artists as well, alright? I don't care if you work in the industry or not, but I need somebody who's, a couple of guys that are really good artists, as well as being good moderators, to make this work. Now where Dave's sort of thrown his support behind it, um, because for, you, for obvious reasons. I th think of this as the mudbox equivalent of Zebra Sentinel, alright? So much more. I've got the site there and live, but there's nothing on it, so I won't be giving the domain name out just yet because it's it's not even <laughs> it's not even roughly right. Um, so I'm gonna have to try and track down a couple of code guys. Nobody knows Flash well, um, or somebody who's got some PHP coding experience that didn't mind lending to this project. Give us a shout. I know a true proud to ask for help. All right, and we'll see how it goes. But um, it should work well. All you know, all told, this should go well. Um, I do expect it to start relatively slowly. I might keep it private for the first month just to keep um, get things running nicely. I don't like opening the forum with like zero posts, right? <laughs> the first month may be invite only, but I'm not just going to be inviting the biggest, the brightest, right? I'll invite people I think can make a contribution. Uh, after that, it'll be public. And everybody will be able to join. <sighs> God, I'm knackered. Times it. Nearly times for me to go. Right, so I'll see you all next time. Uh, I'll probably get one done next week. Obviously, Christmas Day is a Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Or is it Wednesday? 17th, right? It's my wife's birthday. So, that's a Wednesday, which I think it is. All right. I won't be doing one then. I'll do one either the day before or the day after. So I'll get shot. If we have an agreement, no PCs on birthdays. So, there you go. Right, I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.